Yet again, it is giveaway time over at foottrading.co.uk. If you subscribe within the next week, one of you guys will win the rest of FIFA 22 absolutely free. So whatever tier you subscribe with, whether it be one, two or three, one of you guys will win the rest of this game for free, worth up to over £100 in terms of subscription to the site. Don't forget, Tier 1 gets you access to buying and selling prices for icons, specials, fodders, and you get the handwritten guides from me every single week of the weekly trading guide and the club stock guide. Tier 2 gets you all of that, but it also gets you our live sniping filters and our fluctuations area that targets the whole market 24 hours a day, showing you what's up and what's down. And Tier 3 gets you all of that and our Discord bot that direct pings you the best deals on the market. So you can go over there, check the price, learn how to trade and make lots of coins. That's a giveaway for you guys. Let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. Make sure you check out Foot Trading for two reasons. Number one, if you subscribe between now and Friday, one of you guys is going to win the rest of FIFA 22 for free. That's a simplistic giveaway to celebrate Team of the Year, but we are running another monster giveaway. We're going to be giving away, once again, an Xbox Series S or £250 in cash to put towards a PlayStation for one of you guys that is subscribed. So not only do you get the chance to get the whole subscription for the rest of the year free, you also get the chance to win a next generation console. We did it at Christmas. You guys loved it. So we're doing it again this month. Make sure you check it out. It's an awesome, awesome place to learn how to trade. In my opinion, it's the best sort of trading site there is. Best trading site around. Obviously, we're biased, but we work very, very hard on it. But this video is all about the sort of stuff from sort of when we built the site, we built it to, to encompass every single budget, low budget, mid budget, high budget. And I've seen a lot of people recently sort of message me and say on Twitter, oh, I've, I've spent my 40k on those informs you bought. And I always say to them, why have you done that? It doesn't make any sense. And so this, this video is going to talk about budgets and we're on my brother's account because it's the perfect account to talk about it on. Liquid, he's at about 700,000 coins. So he's able to do a lot of different things including investments, including buying, whatever it is, based upon his current coin total or whatever coin total he's got at that time. He's not got enough coins that he goes out and buys icons. Um, and that's going to be a lot of you guys that watch these videos. It's going to be this sort of budget you guys have got to work with. So first thing, if you are low budget, you do not go and buy big investments. It's quite simple, really. Why would you go and spend, I don't know, 50k on four informs in the hope they go up in three days time and make you something like 20k profit? When that 50,000 coins could be turned into 100, 150,000 coins in 24 hours. You guys with those lower budgets, really what you guys will need to be doing is looking for instant flip methods. So as I've shown you before, the basic sort of style of working with League SBCs. So the cards that are already here. Checking out the minimums that they're selling for. Um, I usually tend to go basic nowadays, the keepers I tend to ignore. Um, but checking League SBCs and non-League SBCs and just checking what those cards are selling for. So we're going by Techie because he's literally discard price. And you just go to here and you just compare price across and see what all these cards here are selling for. So this card here, for example, 300, we can buy him pretty easily, need to buy. And you guys can look for anything that's going to make you profit straight away. That's what you're in, that's the only thing you're interested in. Because you want to build up your coin total very, very quickly. So what you do is once you've bought these cards, you go and look what they're actually selling for and you go and flip them back on for the actual price. Now, it works with any of the League SBC cards, so rare bronzes though, and any silvers for minor leagues and then any bronze or silver for major leagues. We'll list them all up here. And you make put small profits bit by bit, but it builds up and it builds up. Alternatively, you might want to choose to work with consumables and stack up on those um, and flip those on relatively quickly. Um, or you might want to work with position changes for lower end cards. So something like a Gabriel Jesus. He's an example I've given you loads of times before. If you all go out and buy the exact same card, you're going to screw yourselves over. It's not hard to engage your brain here and go, hang on. So he's shown me an 83 rated striker that's kind of usable in the Premier League. I could probably find similar um, in different places. So we'll look at Gabriel Jesus and we'll say, okay, cool, he's currently selling for, like, not far off discard price, realistically. Not far off discard price at all. Um, and so we look at Gabriel Jesus. Then we're interested in whatever card it is now. If it's a midfielder, you look at it with Hunter or Shadow. If it's an attacker, you're looking at it with a Hunter. Um, if it's a defender, you want Shadow. Um, and you want to check what they're selling for with a Hunter on it, with a Shadow on them. Check the gaps, as always. And ideally, you want to pick them up for whatever this is. So this Gabriel Jesus, which I'm probably going to buy because if you look at this now... Yeah, so he is a buy. We can, we'll make a little bit of profit. It's not masses, but it's something. We'll go and buy him. Flip him back on for 2,800. But ideally, you managed to find a few below it. But you now know that Gabriel Jesus is selling for 2,800. So you might sit and chill on him and try and pick up four, five, six Gabriel Jesuses before moving on to another one. You might want to work with position changes and go, okay, cool. So Gabriel Jesus is a striker. 
But position changes on this game are very expensive. So how much is he as a midfielder? He's about 6,000 coins. So you might be able to pick Gabriel Jesus up at 3,000 coins with a cam on him, but he sells to 6,000. You guys have low budget. What you want to do is work with instant flip methods. That's the most important thing, and that's there right there. So Sean, now that he's down to 155,000 coins, he can go and do that now. That's what he would do with these coins. But on his transfer pile here, we do have some investments, and we'll explain why. At 700,000 coins, it's perfectly fine to go and spend 200k on something like a team of the week investment, because why not? You'll, you'll take your 700k down to 500k, something like that, maybe 450, but you'll still have 450k to either do SBCs in the game, to either trade further in the game, but at that sort of 700k, 750k budget, you can go and invest in higher tier cards. But the basic rule that I've always, always gone by on FIFA, and it's, it's quite simplistic, is if you are investing, you don't really want to invest more than 20%, 20% of your coin total at any one time. Um, unless you're going for a big, big investment. So 20% of your coin total is roughly what you want to do, um, give or take. And, and that's quite a simplistic way of putting it. So something like a Walter Peters, that works perfectly fine because it fits within my 20% route. Um, but if I go and buy, if I use 20% of a 40,000, um, I've still got, still got 50,000. 20% of that is 10,000. Is it really worth it for me to invest in Walker Peters? No. But it might be worth it for me to invest in some SBC fodder, like Lacazette. So we paid, I think, like eight, eight, nine hundred 900 coins for a lot of these guys here. And we picked them up en masse because eventually they were going to rise on the market. And bit by bit by bit, the market would climb. And this is where the lower tier stuff comes in. So let's say you've got 250,000 coins. Well, this definitely fits within the 20% rule. I will have a little look and we'll see what Lacazette's done. At the moment, it's at 1,000 coins. So am I interested in selling him yet? Not really, no. But I'll hold on to it. But Sean's got the luxury because he's got a bit more coins. And because he's stuck within these rules, he can leave us like Lacazette sitting there and not stress about them because it's perfectly fine. Alternatively, one of the investments that we've done quite a bit recently talked about is the keepers for teams that don't have um, they don't have really good sort of gold, uh, cheap gold alternatives. So people like Wolfsburg keepers and whatnot. We've bought a few of these. A lot of people have for when the Wolfsburg, um, it, well, the SBC returns to the Bundesliga. So he could go and buy one of these Wolfsburg keepers if he wants to and sort of stick him up there and do whatever he wants with that card. Um, and that's worked within his, rule, within his rules. So then that's a simplistic way to set up like what can you invest in? But what else can you trade in with that sort of 250, 300k budget? But again, the new, the new other rule you want to do for instant flipping is a 10% rule. So basically, let's say you've got, I don't know, 500,000 coins we're going to go with. We're going to go 500 on this occasion. You could probably work with special cards. And again, you guys know by now how we work with special cards. That is essentially trying to buy a special card with a shadow, a hunter, a position change on them uh, for what they're selling for as a standard card. Now, I'm doing a 10, 20, 30 filter. It's my favorite filter. Always will be. But again, because you've got the budget, you might want to have a little look and go, okay, cool, Savanier. It's not really worth my time. Neocarte. It's a 56k there. I might flick through. Now, to speed it up for you, if you're on the website, just search your name. Literally just search your name. Um, but you'll be able to find one on the way, like bids here, really easy bids, um, which are pretty pretty simplistic. And you might go, right, I'm able to at 500k go and buy myself five special cards and spend 300,000 coins on those five special cards and then reinvest that money elsewhere with what, my rest of the budget or look for instant flips. And this Declan Rice, I'm pretty sure, is a pretty decent deal. It's not an incredible deal, but I think I've sold it. So there's a 55 there, there's a 53 there, a 52 there. So you can see Declan Rice has got quite a few undercuts on him. Let's have a little look at him. So here I might go, right, hang on. Declan Rice is down, is he? So Declan Rice, I'm going to go and look at the numbers up. And we'll have a little look at what he's selling for as a standard. So as a standard, about 50,000 coins, which is cool. I'm going to flick it up a little bit more. So there's a shadow at 53. And go up a bit further. And so he's got three shadows on him. One at 55, one at 53, one at 56, and they've all just come into the market, which is not bad at all. Now, I probably wouldn't go and buy this one just yet. I'd look for an undercut. But again, I'm sticking with him roughly a 10% rule, roughly a 10% rule. Um, but I can also go and wait for bids and pick him up. This one here, for example, pick this up on bids. And again, my thought process here is, well, Declan Rice has got a cam on him here. He's been converted up. So is it more expensive to have done that? Because I think Declan Rice comes out, if I'm not mistaken... At a CDM level, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not... Yeah, he is CDM. So actually, do you know what? I am going to buy that Declan Rice at Cam. Because he's been massively undercut here. And I can afford to do that. I've got the budget that allows me now to flip these on. So we'll have a little look at what he sells for Cam Shadow. And I'm going to guess it's about 58. But we'll have a little look. So Cam Shadow on Declan Rice, the cheapest is 60,500. So I can do this sort of stuff because I've got that budget and I can flip these on. 
and I can do it that way. So if I was sitting there with 500k, I might go and buy five of these cards. Not specifically Declan Rice, but whatever card it is I want to buy. I may well go and buy five cards, leave myself with 200k, then go and invest 100k into cards that cost me something like 1k each. Go and buy a load of those, and then I might go and leave the rest of it to instant flip. And that's how you have to work your budgets. It is completely pointless, it is stupid, it makes no sense to go and put your only 50k into four cards to make 15, 20k profit in five days time. That 50k in one day could turn to 100, 120k. And that's why on the website, we really split the website up the way that we wanted to, to make sure that it catered for absolutely every single budget. So under this, we've got the, the SBC fodder flips, which is where you find the likes of Lacazette. That's really good for low budget. The specials, like I've just shown you there, for those guys with mid-budget, they've got a bit of coin, can go and... I don't really want to sit there and buy a million different cards, like a million different silvers or whatever it is, but sitting there doing that. And then the icons for the higher budget stuff. Trading guides here, weekly trading guide, club stock guide. These have things for all budgets. Higher, lower, all that sort of thing. And then tier two has that again. And we spread it out and we do it the right way so that you guys know your budget. But it is, a lot of this is common sense. It's 50k in four informs that are going to give you maximum sort of 5k profit each, the best idea. When if you put 50k into silvers, in 24 hours it's going to get you that profit. It makes much more sense to do it that way. So get involved, think about what you're doing and utilise that knowledge. But that is the way to spread your budget on FIFA. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now... I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.